Let me tell you that in her room resides the seed of that demon, Hiranya Kashiku. Therefore, we have decided to keep her under custody until her trial will deliver, and then we will release her. The child in her room is faultless and simple. He is a great devotee of the Lord Sri and is completely protected by the Lord. When the great saint Narayana had thus spoken, King Indra, being respectful to his words, immediately released Kayani. Because there was a devotee of the Lord in her womb, all the demigods circumambulated her. Then they returned to their celestial kingdom. Thereafter, the great saint Narayuni brought Kayadu to his ashram and instructed her and the child in her womb on the subjects of devotional service. Oh, creator of the universe, then please 
grant you this preservation so that you do not die at the hands of any living entities created by you. Grant you that I do not die inside or outside during the day or at night, nor under ground or in the sky. Grant you that my death is not brought on by any weapon, nor by any human being or animal. Grant me further that I cannot be killed by any caligat or demon, and grant me all of the same Lord Brahma was pleased by Hiranyakashipu's austerities and granted these benedictions to him, although it was very rare to be achieved. The last
so that you can all become active when you grow up. Please continue with the lessons and we will be back in a few minutes. of the family. 
own hand. Tell me, what is the source of your power? But would you seem to appear fearless? Dear Father, the source of my strength is also the source of yours. Indeed, the original source of all kinds of strength is one. He's not only your strength or mine, but the only strength for everyone. Without him, no one can get any strength, whether moving or not moving, superior or inferior. Everyone, including your Brahma, is controlled by the strength of the Supreme Personality of God. Bestowed all 